So, you might be thinking about doing this amalgamating your bee thing that I was showing you. But just a little note, make sure the bloody bee box doesn't have a hole in the side of the jam thing, because the girls that we were trying to mix together over there are in here now. So they did that little bit of an esconding and they ended up landing in this little peach tree. Luckily we found them before we went out, which was all good. So anyway, I'm going to show you doing this again, because these girls haven't got a queen. I was kind of thinking because they both didn't have a queen that they'd just go together easy, but obviously they still don't like each other, even if they haven't got any leaders. I'm not really sure what that's about. But anyway, this little swarm I caught this morning. So we're going to put them on top of here. We're going to put the mesh on top of them. I'm going to put the super on top of the mesh and the lid on top of that. And then we're going to leave them alone for half an hour or an hour or so, or whatever. Hopefully the queen is in this box is happy and doesn't want all of the girls in here to get murdered. Oh, that that really sucks. <laughs> So here they are, the absconding bees. We're just going to put our dividing wall. And we're going to put our super on top of the dividing wall. And then I think there's going to be much confusion here in the bee yard in a minute. Well, actually, we're not even in the bloody bee yard. We're in the backyard, so... Phew. As I've said before, my gracious wife, she's a dear girl. My day, she should be used to me by now. Give the girls a little tap. Because I reckon they'd be dangling from the roof in here. Nope, they're a little bit psycho in there. <laughs> Not happy, Jan, they said. Not bloody happy, Mr. Bushby, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, here we go for the excitement. <laughs> Tip them on board. Oh, shit, out of the peach tree. My goodness! <laughs> and they're going, what the hell? <laughs> Look at all the wax they put in the box. It's cool, isn't it? I think I've shown you that before, but so I think we just lift a little, little bit to let these crazy field bees in together. Mm. They'll all sneak in there because they all know each other. Because this is when you find out whether the girls like each other or not. I'm just watching them down here at the entrance. There's a few stray ones that are flying in. They're not having a box on just yet. So hopefully, because these girls at the bottom, as I said, they didn't have a queen. And this lot that's a swarm should have a nice young queen. And then they might all be together. It's one big thing. Look at that, and they bloody clever. It's kind of cool. They're just trying to figure out where the fuck they are. <laughs> oh, sorry, Diane, I'm still swearing. Sorry, chicky babes. There we go, that's our way. Yeah, we'll just do that. We'll just let them do their thing for a minute. <gasps> do you want to see some little heads? <laughs> Come round here, Mr. Cameraman. So we've all let them calm down here for a little while. So they're all a little bit dangly off the roof still. But gonna pull our mesh out and do some amalgamating. Well, hopefully amalgamating. I reckon if we just pull that through there. We might just poke our head in there and see if there's a war on. It's probably a war and look at them all coming out the front. <laughs> They're all going, what the bloody hell Martha, what's going on? like a very awkward inner city bloody housing project, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, hopefully they can all get their shit together in here and not get too excited. Oh, no, no, I don't really want to let them all out. Even though the cameraman's mad keen to show you what's going on in here, well, I'm not really that keen to let them all fly off. We've gone to a whole lot of trouble to get them in, so... We've just pulled... Anyway, we've pulled our mat back a little bit just not that much and so the girls are up here and the girls are down there and then they're all having a little bit of interaction saying well i wonder what bloody curry they brought along oh <laughs> hopefully they brought some pollen and some honey and some shit to share but who knows we'll find out in the morning if we have a big pile of dead bees out the front we'll oh, know it was an epic fail
We're just being a bit stupid here without a bee suit on, but I thought I might just show you the morning's result. <laughs> anyway, I think we'll leave it at that because we haven't got stung and we don't want to. So there you go. That's how you amalgamate a bee box and how not to on the first bit. <laughs> Tonight we'll take that away. <laughs>